Hey guys, welcome back. It's Amber from the Wow Creative Team, and today I'm going to be using the Wow Embossing Mixed Media Embossing Brush. This is such a cool product. It's new to me, which is the theme for this month, and this is inspired by Seth Apter. So I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna swirl the post that the brush is connected to around the inside of the vial here, and that's to knock off any excess product that's on that post. With gravity, anything that's extra on that post can travel down and end up getting too much product on your project. So I'm just gonna brush this over this die cut. It's a delicate die cut and I really only wanted to emboss the flowers. So this is an easy way to get that product on there in a detailed manner. And I'm gonna be using Turkish Nights Glitter Embossing Powder. This is a gorgeous color. It's kind of like a rose gold, but also has some purple glitter in it. So I'm gonna sprinkle this on, and eventually I end up kind of just dumping the jar into the coffee filter there and then turning the die cut over and pressing it into the embossing powder. And I feel like it kind of adheres better that way. Um, so I'm gonna knock off a little bit of excess just by tipping it over. And you can see that's where I turned it over and kind of just pressed it in there. And then we'll go ahead and heat set this. Now with your glitter embossing powders, as usual, you wanna heat it from behind so that you don't blow your glitter away. This is a delicate die cut, so I'm heating this on the first speed, the lower speed, because I don't wanna to have too, too much warping here. And then once the powder starts to melt, I'll bring the tool around to the front and finish heating from the front. And you'll see that the, the glitter embossing powder, sometimes it can be hard to see if they're melting. You will start to see the glitter start to twinkle, and that's how you'll know. So I decided to leave the leaves white and I'm just kind of checking out the position and where I might want it on the card. What I decided to do is cut a smaller panel and add my sentiment to the smaller panel. If I don't mention a stamp or product that I'm using in the voiceover, I'll have everything linked down below. I'm using the same embossing powder for the sentiment and just using a paintbrush that I have set aside for embossing to knock off any excess. And then we'll go ahead and heat this to melt the powder. Here I wasn't sure if I liked this amount of white space, so I decided to create a background. So using the Wow Embossing Ink Pad Refill Conditioner and Freestyle Tool, this is the original tool that they had and this has the roller ball on it. So I'm just running it around the inside of each of these circles on this stencil from Heffy Doodle. And then we'll go ahead and heat emboss this in the same Turkish Nights embossing powder. So this creates a really cool background. It's another way that you can use your stencils, but I felt like it was too busy and you kind of lost that delicate die cut a little bit. So ultimately I decided to only use the white panel and then I'll save that background for another project. So I'm just using some Ranger Multimedia Matte Glue and I'm gonna glue that onto the center panel. I popped up the center panel on Sticky Back Fun Foam I'll put a block on that until it dries. Here's the finished card, and I am glad that I kept it clean and simple. I'll also show a close-up of the beautiful purple in the Turkish Nights, and we'll move on to the next card. I decided to create an ink blended panel with the same stencil. So here I have Altenew Mountain Mist. That's from the Seashores Ink Collection. I'll go ahead and ink blend this full background in this light color, and then I'm going to add a strip of a coordinating cardstock to the side of this panel. I die cut a sentiment from that same aqua colored cardstock and I'll stack it up with a couple white pieces to make it a little more sturdy and substantial. And then I'll take the embossing brush tool and just brush over the bottom half of the sentiment. You could do a similar technique with the Wow embossing pad, but this allows you to get more of a kind of distressed edge to the top edge of that versus with your ink pad, you have that straight line of the ink pad. So I'll go ahead and use Turkish Nights and, and sprinkle that on and then we'll get this heat set. I've already started heating it from behind and now I've come to the front. I wanted you to see how the color changes. So it's really easy to see how this one is melting. It starts to twinkle and it gets more of that lighter rose gold color, which I think complements that aqua cardstock really nicely. To finish off these cards, I embellish them with Nouveau Champagne Shine sequins, which match perfectly. Here's the sentiment close up, and I just love that kind of rustic edge to the top there. 
I hope you enjoyed these projects today and the easy ways to use the mixed media embossing brush with your projects. Of course, you can use them for full on mixed media projects as well. It creates a really cool dry brushing look. So be sure to check out more inspiration on our YouTube channel and also at the fan page on Facebook. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any new content.